How have you been? It's been a while since I've done a chatty video. Feeling out of practice. Keep glancing at the viewfinder. Very professional. <laughs> so I've been very busy for the last months. So uh, yeah, uploads have not been that frequent, but hopefully that will pick up again over the coming months, but we will see, no pressure. But I thought it's a good time to do a little updates and things that are going on, announcement-y sort of video to keep you informed and all that. Last week I was interviewed for an anosmia-based podcast called The Smell Podcast, uh, so there's a link to that down below where you can listen to it. It's very nice, Katie is the one who runs it. She is anosmic, she interviews various anosmic people and gets people who are anosmic to send in um, emails and things like that of their stories for her to talk about. And yeah, it's a very nice podcast. Never done a podcast before, so that was interesting. And um, yeah, go listen to that. On the same sort of vein of uh, interviewing for things, uh, I was interviewed about Film Prompt Society for 1080 Magazine, which is a UK uh, YouTube magazine. They do a physical copy once a year at Summer in the City, which I bought this time, so ta-da. Uh, this interview thing that we did is not in a paper thing, it's on their website, there will be a link in the description for that. Um, so yeah, it was a, they, they do roughly once a month, they do a featuring a channel and they featured Film Prompt Society and interviewed me, Jay and Jamie about it and we said all the good things and tried to encourage people to come over and take part and one extra person subscribed, so it's, it's done its job. <laughs> but yeah, do give that a read because it's a very nice article, I like it, makes me feel good about what we're doing, so yay. Next thing that's going on, I have launched an Etsy store because my PhD funding ended over a year ago and my savings are getting a little bit, little bit sad looking now. The bank account is not, not fantastic. Uh, don't worry, my finances are fine, don't panic. I live with my partner who has a full-time job, we're just like, just, I'd, I'd like a bit of spare cash, so I'm, I'm, I'm making some things, I'm selling some stuff, see what takes off. I have no idea what does well on Etsy, so I'm trying various things and I will see what works. So, experimentation. So first of all, we've got, I guess, what is the most like merch. So you may remember I did a video a couple of months ago called The Day in the Life of a Smartphone. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. I'm very proud of it. Uh, and for that, I made a little smartphone puppet out of felt. And so I've made little, little keyring versions. So they're in red and green. Um, yeah, it's little cute key rings. Sell them for a couple of quid. They were quite fun to make. I like sewing stuff. And yeah, if you like my videos, you can now get merch. So we'll see how those go. <laughs> and also in the world of felt things, I've made some Christmas decorations, which I've just listed. I have just listed on my Etsy. So we have Christmas trees and gingerbread men. I think the gingerbread men are better. That's my personal opinion. I think they're darn cute. So yep, yeah, those are all available on Etsy. I also have a digital download file of one of my artworks. I don't know how well those will do. So I've just done one for now and I will see if anyone pays for a download because um, I don't want to just list loads of them and then sit there and nothing happened with them so just try testing the waters see how it goes and then for physical artwork for all a bit more money you can commission me to make a name map so the name maps are you know my my banner art for my channel this ha 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 that's upside down this <laughs> so it's like that but smaller and you can colour it in yourself if you want. So these are bespoke to order of your name or your friend's name or whatever. Um, obviously more expensive because it is hand drawn to order. It's not cheap. So yeah, if you are interested, check that out. My Etsy, you can just see. I have no idea if any of that's gonna pay off, but I'm trying it out, we will see. It's an excuse to make stuff, so I'm happy. <laughs> and on the videos front, I've got a couple of things in the works. I've got a new series that I might be trying out. I'm um, hoping to do more chill out game reviews, try and make that an actual monthly thing like I used to do. Bring that back a little bit. I haven't played many games, that's my thing. Uh, I've mostly been playing games on the PlayStation, which I don't have an easy way to record footage from. I know the PlayStation has a built-in way of recording footage, but it's just, it's awkward, so might play around with that and try and do playstation ones as well as pc but we'll see 
Uh, Film Prompt Society didn't manage to do my short film for September. Uh, first time that I've not managed it, but oh well, that happens. Um, I am working on my October one though, so that will be happening. And yeah, I'm just gonna try have videos once every week or so, rather than just the incredibly few and far between it has been. Um, yeah, I think that is everything. So yeah, if you wanna check out my Etsy store, don't feel any pressure to buy anything, please. Um, I do ship internationally, not that I've ever done that before, but I can, I can learn, so <laughs> it'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> have a browse on my Etsy store, uh, read the article, listen to the podcast, and hopefully more normal videos coming your way soon. Yeah. I had to film this video again because I was midway through it and then the plumber arrived unexpectedly and that was awkward. <laughs> oh, the troubles of being a YouTuber.